Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. This time we're going to be reviewing all the events that happened with the recent PTB, and surely haven't they been something? Really, this PTB is kind of a hollow, empty PTB, because really the only things that are being tested or changed is the new Sudden Death Mori and the Unbreakable Base Kit. Other than that, besides the nerfs to perks to kind of revolve around those, there really wasn't much going on with this PTB. And compared to most PTBs that I have played, this one I only played for an hour and a half. Usually I play like usually four hours of every single PTB, but this one I played for an hour and a half and I got over it like immediately. Like I played some survivor. I didn't get to unbreakable or use any fun perks with the having to do with getting up off the ground. And I played killer and I got I got the the insta down Mori like not the insta down Mori, but I get the Mori, the, the ending game Mori every single time. And it was just like kind of like I don't know, there just wasn't a lot going on. There wasn't really a lot to invest in. So let's digest the, the, the things that have happened with that, though. So first, I want to talk about the the sudden death kind of mode that happens, the, the last man standing situation, and how that leads into the Instamori. I don't really like this as a concept because I feel like a lot of really hype things can happen at the end of a match uh, when it comes down to, like, the last survivor that unbreakables or wiggles off the shoulder, stuff like that and all that's essentially gone now. So essentially it's removing gameplay and I'm always typically against things that kind of outright remove gameplay from the game. So that's that, That's how I feel about that. It is fun. It is cool to see a Mori implemented, but if it was like a perfect world, I feel like I just would have made Cyprus base kit. And if you wanted to Mori more people, you can just bring Ivory or bring an Ebony. I feel like that's way better than kind of like taking away gameplay from the other side. Also, it's, it's kind of making camping and tunneling like even more powerful, which is kind of like a big oopsie, <laughs> you know, like if you slug them, obviously they just get back up. So it's countering slugging, but camping and tunneling is a sense even stronger because if you tunnel somebody out at, at, at like four or five gens and now it's a three of you one, you only have to down two people and suddenly you're in the sudden death mode. And if you down that person, they're insta dead, right? Like it, 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 it kind of makes something that's already frustrating about the game even stronger, which is something and honestly i played i played a lot of huntress games because they said they fixed or optimized her but there was now she's buggier than than ever for some reason so that's cool um but yeah it was all i had to do was just like like play a little campy tunnel a little bit and i just got it every time and like it wasn't that hard and i can't imagine what that'd be like on like a starstruck nurse or like a like an alk ring blight you know like that's that that's gonna be that's gonna be something and as for the unbreakable thing, the unbreakable thing was something that I was particularly worried about because I thought it was going to be something that was going to become like a problem uh, when, ab when abused. Uh, I didn't personally have it be abused inside of the PTB itself. Um, I don't know if I just didn't get any good teams or anything. Nobody abused it against me. So that's good. But I still think that like with the right perks that still can be abusable, it just didn't happen to me. So I can't really like say yes or no, like, like that's actually a thing. Um, I did have a lot of situations where I would try to slug people. I'd play a slug heavy character and try to slug a lot. And there were people just kind of like getting up uh, left and right. But honestly, like. I still got the insta down Mori at the end, so maybe that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Maybe. I don't know. I, like I said, I, I, I didn't have a super strong sampling and I also I obviously didn't face any like coordinated teams, so I would not enter that situation where it would probably be abusable, which I, I feel like that could still happen, but maybe it wasn't as like common as we made it out to be initially either way i feel like in a perfect world i would rather still have a just a bleed out button just like a way to give up just like how you can give up on hook just you just also have a way to give up while on the ground i feel like that would also be uh nice in in, in a good way to all, like ha beat that slugging is just like because that's what that's what it's supposed to be countering right it's supposed to be countering the idea of like oh you just get left on the floor for four minutes and you're bored I, 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 could, I would just rather have a bleed out button so I can just go next. That That's my perfect world. That's me just having something like that. But that's not what they went with, unfortunately. I think it's a big thing I want to talk about is it's just like it feels like a lot of this is just like a lot. Like you could have just made base kit Cypress. You could have just had a bleed out button, but they went with all this and it's really clunky and complicated. And I, I just kind of I don't like it. It's, it's off putting to me. Also, flashlights clicking is gone because that was causing seizures and, and for people that were photosensitive or have epilepsy, stuff like that. A lot of people on DBD Twitter are saying that like clicking, them removing clicking was like a killer complaint and like they nerf flashlights. And if you're one of those people, you're, you're a piece of garbage. The health of people goes above game. 
the health of people will always go above game mechanics. It always has and it always will. If you're one of those people that says, my ability to click a flashlight in a video game is more important than a person's health, you're a piece of garbage and you suck and you're terrible. Don't listen to any of those people. Now, there are actual nerfs that did happen to flashlights that are separate from that. Like you, you like start aiming at the ground now, which is weird, just kind of strange, but they can just fix that. They can just put that back. Right? Like, like that's that is strange. I hope they don't go through with that. That 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 I don't think should go through. However, if you're one of those people that wants clicking back and you're you are prioritizing clicking in a video game, which is often used to BM anyway, over the health of other people. So that says a lot about you now, doesn't it? Yeah, I wish I had something of a longer video for you today, but like this PTB is pretty barren. I'm actually pretty disappointed in this PTB. The the perk changes are literally just like, oh, well, the unbreakable perks don't unbreakable anymore and the Mori perks don't worry anymore. And that's it. Like there was no killer changes. There was no maps. There was no like new like perks, overhauls or nerfs. Like it's literally just a barren mid chapter. I don't know what they're going to do for this mid chapter. There's quite literally a vacuum of content here. There is nothing going on. So I don't know what they're going to do for the mid chapter because like literally nothing was tested here. So I don't know. There's not, there's kind of like nothing here at all to be excited for. Like at all. And it's, uh, it's kind of a doozy. It's kind of something. Cause like, I didn't like the stuff that they tested in the PTB. I didn't like the, the experimental stuff, which reminder, that's not going live. They are not putting like the mid chapter will not include these changes with like the sudden death, last man standing or the unbreakable stuff. And there's just nothing else. So like, what am I excited for? What what is are we just going to have like a dry spell until the next killer comes out? I hope not. What do you guys think? Do you think they're going to actually put through like perks or changes or something like that for the mid chapter? Or are we just going to have a dead chapter? Let me know down in the comments below. But that's going to be it for me, friends. I appreciate you so much and I will see you tomorrow. But if I don't, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.